Ah, oh, such pain, such devastation. How have I been cursed by being a PC gamer? How I weep every day while I look at all the peasants outside. How they can enjoy their lives to the fullest while I have to waste mine and rot in this cage of gold with a GeForce RTX 3090 warming me during cold winter days. How I wish I could be like them and 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 play Bloodborne. Ooh, Bloodborne. I hardly knew he and yet, the visceral attacks. Hmm. Very sexy. Nice. How I wish I could see you once more. Oh, whoa. What's this? I have not been forsaken. It's B Bloodborne. PSX. For Nintendo 64. It's finally here. Bloodborne. On PC. The first thing we see is a beautiful rendition of the first cutscene. Also a vibrating grandpa. Let me tell you, this man can satisfy anyone. Then, during character creation, I immediately start breaking the game. Then, I make a best monster hunter there is. We see the rest of the intro and the... Uh, uh, a, a, a period wolf. What is this, turning red? <laughs> I don't know. I start the game and I lose immediately to the first enemy. Thanks to this pro gamer move, I can shamefully experience Hunter's Dream on max vibration settings. I get the saw, I get the pistol. And I take my rightful revenge as well as a key and begin my little adventure. Did some climbing, did some meetings with hot singles. Also got killed by a lost hunter. Rage quit. I also cried. Ate some food. And uh, I decided to make a new character. I gave him the same skin color that I have. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. This time, I'm still in a hood. And thanks to that cool factor, I managed to kill a werewolf without any weapons. Also, I found a blood transfuser that gives me like five free bullets. Uh, we get out and... <gasps> Oh! Armed with only a fedora, I use my free thinking skills to deal with all the sheeple debating them to death using my intellectual prowess and my razor sharp polygonal arms. I find a save point and. What the f? This time I'm choosing threaded cane and a pistol. To complement my new neckbeard look, we talk to a window-shaped NPC and unlock the next area. I've entered the friend zone, but all I found was enemies. I stop and say hello to some locals, admire the eternal void caused by limited draw distance. Very scary. Thanks to game limitation crows, look and sound at least 20% more terrifying. And after admiring some Christian culture, I managed to find some insight. Ooh, check out the cinematic touch. Then I perform a classic beta male move of getting scared of losing echoes and I go back to the save point. What a thrill. With darkness and silence through the night. I get back to Hunter's Dream and check out who decided to wake up. Hello. Ooh, cinematic touch! 
I also open up the workshop and I unlock a weapon transformations. Woo! I, I'm never gonna use it again. I also discovered that you can play the game in Swedish. Live bulb. Kramsretnich Lietkok Uvotolom Resufsnert Tleb Knir Yek. I got my revenge on Lost Hunter and finally completed my nice guy drip. TM. When you were kissing girls, I was studying the blade. When you were partying on the streets, I was studying the blade. When you were studying the shield, I was studying the blade. Game looks absolutely fantastic. There are so many areas to explore. Rats are having the time of their lives. Uh, there are quests. I died again and lost footage. And it's such a shame since the game has so much to offer with the bosses and and everything. And I truly wish that people would just play for themselves. So please. The link to the game itself is in the description, as well as creator social. Go and enjoy, just like I'm gonna do after this video. <gasps> bye bye.